Hello and welcome to the latest in our series of our lockdown stories. Uh, this is a series in which I'm interviewing some Kingston Liberal Synagogue members about their life as a member and also about their experiences in lockdown over the last few months. Um, and we've got a really contrasting one today um, because the last episode, as hopefully you will have seen, featured founder member Joyce. Um, and Joyce has, if you've seen the episode, been a member of KLS for 53 years, ever since it was first established. And by total contrast today, I'm really delighted to welcome Deborah. Now, Deborah is somebody who is about to join uh, KLS and has just started her conversion to Judaism through KLS by attending our online virtual um, exploring Judaism classes. So Deborah is right at the beginning of her journey, both into the Jewish people and also into KLS. So I thought this would be a wonderful contrast from Joyce. And Deborah, thank you so much for agreeing to be interviewed for this series. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Um, so could you please start uh, just by giving us a little bit of background about what originally kind of attracted you to, to Judaism and to KLS um, as the sort of form of your journey? All right, I'll make it as quickly as possible. What attracted me to, so can I start with Judaism first? So uh, originally the community I'm from in Chicago was all black. So I'm in my 60s and it was all black. There's reason for that. And next to that community was a Jewish community. So it was during the civil rights movement, there was all this activism going on between black Americans and Jewish Americans. So I was constantly exposed to Jewish people and their various understandings of how they experience their faith. And I grew up in a multi-faith home. My mother was Muslim, my father was Catholic. So and again, I'm in my 60s. As I got older, I started questioning, not God necessarily, but the way in which I engaged with God. In Canada and Israel, I met Jewish people and they talked about wrestling with God, which uh, Rabbi Rene at KLS mentioned that. So that's, a, that's an anathema to me coming from a Catholic Muslim background. You don't wrestle with God. But in fact, that's what I had been doing, not only wrestling with God, wrestling with how I understood God. And I didn't even know there was a space that, to do that. I didn't know there was a community to do that. So I was online because it is a World Wide Web, and I came across KLS and wonderful Rabbi Rene, who, and his approach toward Judaism is, it's your Judaism, mm -hmm. and it captured my attention, and that's how I found the synagogue. Uh, that's, that's just brilliant, Deborah. And am I right in thinking you don't actually live locally to KLS? I don't, and that's the, that's the funny thing, Rebecca. It, it's, there's nothing good about COVID, but out of really challenging situations, amazing things happen. So I reached out to KLS. I was invited to come to a, a worship here and there, but I live in West Yorkshire. And so that's, I saw your eyes and the person that I was speaking to said, you can try to make the visits here, but it's going to be quite arduous. And then COVID happened. And we went on lockdown, all of us, and the world went virtual. Mm -hmm. And I reached out to Rabbi Renee, and now KLS was accessible to me on a regular basis. Fantastic. Absolutely. And you've been, as I said in the introduction, you've been joining our Exploring Judaism classes online, and I know you've been attending many of our Shabbat services as well online. Yes. Oh, yes, that's wonderful. Like you say, it's given us an opportunity and kind of um, dissolved, I guess, some of those physical barriers to being, in, yes. being involved. Just fantastic. Just fantastic. Tell us a little bit more about what you have, what your life has been like over the last few months in lockdown and how have you been spending your time? I've been doing a lot of research and this is where my faith ties in with self, how you perform your life, how you live your life. Uh, so I've made the decision to go back to school and I we will be doing research on civil society and how acts of civil society engagement by activists is actually a form of love. It can actually be seen as a form of love that you're communicating to your country. So it, it's 
uh, you have to stop me because I know these are supposed to be limited. So you have to stop me. So this, the, the thought of examining the way people understand their place in a country and how they express that doing activism very much ties into my religiosity and how I understand God and this constant communicating and seeking to communicate and seeking to be heard. So I don't know if that even answers what you were well, that's, I mean, that's obviously been the focus of the last few months has been your studies. And, right. it so, and it sounds fascinating. It sounds like we could easily have an hour long conversation about that. We won't because these are short <laughs> videos, but it's fascinating. And it sounds like what you're saying is that your, the development of your Judaism and your study of Judaism is very much kind of tying in and overlapping with your studies about activism. Yes, and, and I have to tell you something really quickly. I was in Israel for a bit in 2017. So I was doing this work and this activism, and I'm a tiny voice in the world. And some Jewish people I know reached out to me to, and said, why don't you come to Israel and look at your activism? Well, I thought these were people I didn't politically agree with. And I thought, no, no, that, that won't be a good fit. But then these people talk to me how they experience their Judaism. This, the whole ideology of repairing the world. And Rebecca, their belief was, if you believe you're engaging and don't want to do harm and you want to learn, this one Jewish man who I don't agree with politically at all said, welcome to the Jewish community and come to Israel. <laughs> so I, I, I did, and it was, it was just another, indication about where my path was leading me. So to see this person that I didn't agree with at all, but in his faith, he found a space because he was constantly engaging and wrestling with God. I feel like I'm going way off tangent with you and I get overly passionate. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, 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 you're not. I mean, it's fascinating. It's fascinating. And I tell you what, what I really like to hear is that you're saying, you know, I don't agree with these people in some ways, Right. But I still find a real connection with, yes. with them. And in this case, it's with, you know, through the Judaism. Um, and yes. as, of course, you know, you know, no two Jews agree. No, <laughs> so, exactly. 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 So, so to, that's just brilliant. Yeah, it was an amazing experience. And, and you see people, the older you get, the more you do wrestle and constantly question but to see people on their path and actually working their relationship with God and to see a person that didn't, I don't, he didn't have to invite me to Israel, but to out of his Judaism, he did that. That's the most amazing thing in a testament. Fascinating. And as I've said, I'm quite sure we can have very long conversations about that experience at another time. Um, but amazing story Deborah and I mean we've talked already about your involvement with KLS during the lockdown so you've been attending our classes and you've been attending our services what has that involvement meant to you you know as a sort of to be member I suppose um it, it's it's okay I cry a lot so I won't it's the fruition of walking towards the path I should be on and that's what it is, Rebecca. It's the fruition. I don't care what it is, whether you're baking a cake and you, you got it wrong every time you try it, and then you're baking it, you try it for the umpteenth time, and, and it's coming together, that feeling of it's working. Oh, this is what I should have done. Oh, this is the right way to do this for me. Mm -hmm. And that's what this feels like. That's what the engagement with, with KLS. And I am so such a believer in God. I couldn't have, the creator could not have picked out a perfect rabbi for me. I mean, I, I, I hope he doesn't get angry, but the first time I was talking to him on the phone, Rabbi Renee, uh, in a Zoom call rather, I started crying and I said, oh, I'm sorry, I cry so much. And he said, oh, I'm French. I'm not British. You can cry all you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that sounds about right <laughs> it, it was just and he started laughing and I thought it was it was the right place he's much more comfortable <laughs> with human emotions than a lot of us sort of buttoned up Brits 
I hope that's, that wasn't offensive. I hope it wasn't offensive. No, 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 not at all. I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Um, and um, I mean, you've kind of talked about this quite a lot anyway, but would you say there's anything specific that you have learned during the lockdown as a result of the lockdown? Yes. And um, reality is what reality is. Um, your perception on how you're going to get to, through that reality, even if it's arduous and difficult, such as this situation is, and that often there might be beacons of light, even in the most arduous situation. But and to reference one of Rabbi Renee's sermons, you have to be available to see those lights. You have to be able to see that person waving in the storm saying, hello. <laughs> You're really not alone. And that's what lockdown and KLS has meant for me. I think I might cry now. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want two weeping women on the video. No, no, that, that, that's not a good, no. <laughs> that, I mean, that's a beautiful place to wrap up, Deborah. Um, thank you so much. It has only been 10 minutes. We've crammed so much into those 10 minutes and as I said I am sure we will continue these conversations in much greater depth in the future um, and we're delighted that you've started your journey towards Judaism with us thank we're you very much looking forward to meting you in person obviously we know you that would be lovely but as soon as we can please come and see us all in person you'll get a huge welcome from us all so thank you again Deborah thank you Rebecca and stay tuned. Uh, there'll be more episodes in this series where I'll be interviewing more KLS members. Thank you and see you soon.